Let's talk to this guy, cause that PC in the corner there is used for any Pokemon, or is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. Oh, I am? I didn't know. Okay, cool. Pokemon Wireless Club on the second floor. But recently, I traded Pokemon right away. I wish I could. I wish I could. It'd be great. I can't do that. Thanks. What does he like in this awful free? You never have to worry. You know, I wish things were like that in real life, where I could just go to the hospital for free, get healed up, no problem. Doesn't quite work like that anyway. Um, Parte, Pokemon. So long, Mudkip, it's been a good time, you got to go to the box. Alright, Wurmple, it's me and you, homegirl. Ugh, I'm gonna catch a lot of Pokemon, by the way. I'm just gonna, whenever I catch something that's not bugged, I'm just gonna immediately put it in the box. The only reason being, because I like catching Pokemon anyway, so it's whatever. Um, hmm. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go in the door, why don't we? There we go. I don't think there's anything in this town to get. I think it's mostly just people just giving you random clues. Like, when Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. If the Pokemon with it becomes stronger, you'll be able to go further away from here. You really could have just let her say that, and that would have been such an easy conversation. Finish her sentence, anyway. Right, I can run down. I don't know what she's saying. Let's save progress. Catching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only your own footprints. You are silly. Alright, so how I'm gonna do this? Um, there's nothing here, right? I can just leave. I'm not talking to everybody. Pokemon battle starts to one at the left. The list goes out first, so you get more Pokemon in your party. Try switching around the order of your Pokemon. It could give you an advantage. <laughs> that is a very, 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 very important. Right now, I only got one Pokemon, so yeah. You know, I'm probably gonna get two Wurmples. One to evolve into hopefully Dust Dots and one to evolve into Silicon. But in the meantime, I have to raise this fool up because. Yeah. I'm gonna have to raise him up over here. Where everything is weak. I need to get him to at least level 4 before I go to the other side. So let me see how. Let's just see how bad this is, and I'm gonna stop this recording. Wow, it's skipping pretty bad because of the file size, maybe? That might be it. I'm probably gonna lower the sound quality, too. I don't know why it's skipping like that. There's nothing running in the back. Anyway, technical stuff. Yeah, you wanna do that all day? That's cool with me. Just don't tackle. As long as you don't tackle, I'm fine with this. This is good. He's gonna tackle me, though, and he's gonna get a critical. I'm gonna be killed over. I'm gonna fail the challenge on the first wild Pokemon I see. Why did it have to be Wormple? I knew it was gonna be a Wormple, and I knew I had to catch one. I could have avoided the grass period, but I'm like, I gotta catch one anyway, so. Are you seriously just gonna grind? I mean, that's fine, just do that. Don't tackle. <laughs> My attack is like zero. And then I got a critical at the end. Good stuff, Wormple. Good job. Tell me that's enough for a level. Okay. You wanna learn poison sting anytime soon? That'd be great. That would be fantastic. You must learn poison sting. Like soon. I can't I can't explain how soon you have to learn poison sting. Oh, a warm pool. This would be worth like a zero experience. Oh no, you know what I'm thinking of? See, in this that's something else that gets me in this game too, is that I'm so used now to the changes that came with uh, black and white that it's hard for me to forget, or hard for me to remember that those changes did not carry over from him. Him still has the old battle system. Um, so for example, in black and white, your experience is based on the level of the Pokemon you fought compared to yours, as well as uh, the evolution level, etc. Um, and also the fact that physical attacks and special attacks are by type in Generation 3 and lower, whereas in Generation 4 and 5, and almost in Generation 6 coming up, um, each attack itself has its own type. So that was a big, big thing in Generation 4, Diamond Pearl. 
that I really love, that I sorely miss right now. But that does not stop me from enjoying this game. So, um, where am I at? I'm gonna try to get you to. Sixteen. I can do that. I can do that in my sleep. Okay. Um, Parts will be cut out because it will simply be me grinding. I'm not gonna show that. In fact, I'm probably gonna fast forward a lot of it. That's actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> you mother oh so fuck this game are you serious <laughs> oh i hate whatever moving on wow that that happened that's cool. Alright, three, two, one. And we're back after you see me get. Um, there's probably gonna be a clip of me getting KO'd by a freaking Puchina because one of them sucks. <laughs> but I did get him up to five. Oh, yeah, see. Hasty. What is hasty? I forget the nature of it. Nah. Oh, I need. Mean, I should have playing these things more. So, nature. If you're not familiar with Pokemon Nature, they were introduced in Generation Three, and what they do is they actually boost and decrease certain stats. So, with each nature, you actually have a 10% increase in one and a 10% decrease in one. I do not remember which one does which for which stat. So, I normally look it up. I'm not going to right now because, really, honestly, with I mean, if you're training competitively, you're not using Pokemon that you go through the game with because you're not going to be able to control what they uh, what they fight. You normally will just take your competitive Pokemon, you will catch those later and then take them to certain areas to train up. So the way it works, the effort values, you can look all that stuff up actually, I'm not going to go into great detail about it, but um, pretty much the, the plain and simple of it is certain Pokemon will give you certain boost for fighting them a certain amount of, I mean for fighting them continuously, so if I go and fight a bunch of Zubats where their speed is super high and they give you speed effort points, so you fight a bunch of them, you'll get much better speed. That's just a base. That's a really basic example, but the way effort value trade, or the way I'm sorry, that nature trade into that is that uh they will help a certain stat grow naturally. So for hasty, I want to say hasty is a uh, speed, speed plus and like defense minus, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So I'm not even gonna lie to you because I don't like lying. That's that's very wrong. I don't want to lie. I'm not a liar usually. Alright, so, I did a little bit of training, just a little bit, um, before I came back to this. Like I said, this should, you probably saw me get knocked out by a bunch of That was so lame! Ran a critical hit. That's gonna happen a lot, I'm sure. Thankfully, though, I did learn Poison Sting, which I desperately needed, because I need another way to do damage. Of course, you're not gonna get poison. And I still don't have Stab. Stab being same type attack bonus. What you want to do? You want to poison him. I'm just... This is in your best interest. Oh, God. And see, this is where the random... <laughs> the random factor goes against me. Because I have very poor luck with stat effects. <laughs> I get hit by him all the time and I can never cause him. For example, does Tackle do more damage? I'm almost positive it does. I just figured it would get poison, but apparently that's not the case. You would get poisoned on like the second to last hit, wouldn't you? You can crawl if you want to, now you're dead. I really don't care. It's cool. That's perfectly fine with me. That was actually kind of a waste. I could have just, uh, whatever. Cool. Here we go. 
I do want to get to like level six before I move on. Um, let me heal up one more time because I wasted a bunch of power points, which is kind of irritating. But it's okay. I'm gonna, you know, gonna keep moving. I have to also remember to, uh, never mind, that's something, something else completely. Okay, so here's the first area we can go and fight. Wait, what level are you? Five, right? How close are you to six? I'm going to get you to six, and then I'll fight trainers. You're not a trainer. You're just somebody out here walking around, right? Yes. You're going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Sure you are. Considering you're going to be this bush the rest of the game, I don't think you're going to do that, buddy. Oh, hey, it's Lotad. Oh, this is perfect, actually. This is great. This is fantastic. I forgot about that. This is Emerald. I have access to a grass Pokemon. Come here, let's go. That did a lot less than I expected. <clears throat> Poison counts as physical, doesn't it? Yep. Because this is Generation 3, so my attack got lowered. So that sucks. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. It does. I'm right. So you'll have a lot of HP, so you should be. Yep, cool. Level 3 low attack should be worth a decent amount of experience, right? Oh, yeah, we're already. We're about to be there. Okay, good. I could probably stand to. Oh, hey, look, it's a fellow Wormful. It's a male one. I should catch it. Yeah, I should catch it. That did. I mean, it couldn't do less damage. Wow. Okay, you're gonna get tackled a couple of times. Oh god, he's faster than me already. With just one stream shot. Wormful. Ah. Oh. This is where I wish heartily that I could do a pug type run on like black and white. Because I have more variety of types there. And I have more variety of bug types there. That'd be awesome. But, like I said, can't do that. And I'm not going to sit up here and wish about it. But that wouldn't be good for for the uh, longevity of this playthrough. So, I'm going to keep going. Just keep moving. Please don't KO it. Alright, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and get a uh, Pokeball. Let's do it. We shall be captured. Now we got a female warping and a male warping. Yeah! I'm not gonna keep both of them. I'll tell you that now. One of them will be going back in the box eventually. I'm not anytime soon, but eventually. Because I'm not gonna have Beautify and Dust Tox. It's kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to this challenge now. Like, it's. kind of awesome to think about. Like, you know, I really have to go through and think about how I'm going to approach. Uh, I'm going to approach these gyms and everything. I've never, I've never done it, done it this way. So I've always, always, I usually raise like the same. I'm very much raise the same guys all the time. Even if I say I'm gonna raise something different this time, I do it the same way. So it's gonna be kind of cool to like raise something totally different. Especially since like the first gym is gonna be a with a scene. Second gym is fighting. Fighting won't be too bad. Third gym is what electric. Electric won't be bad because I already know what I'm getting for electric. I already got I already know what I'm getting for that one. That's taken care of. I know who's taking care of that gym. That's that's planned. We got that ready. We got that on lock. It's gonna be my first time raising one of those things too. Um I guess I could roll with yeah, okay. So I'm starting I'm starting to get some no, I'm starting to get some ideas of what I can do for a team. See one of my favorite things about playing Pokemon, and this is one thing that really keeps me playing the game, is that overall it's really if you look at it, it's really a customizable role-playing game since you build your own team out of what you get available and it's kind of what makes it so cool and what draws me to it and why I like playing through the main game a lot of times is that I can go through and just think about different ways I can construct a team or what I can do or what's given to me to create different types and I, that way I you know I learn more about different Pokemon as I play um, like I said I am kind of I'm one of them guys that when I play I do kind of gravitate towards the same type all the time so I try and get away with that away from that um, well it gives my favorite type no doubt so I always have a bug somewhere on deck. <laughs> so as bad as bad as bugs used to be, even back in like generation one, I used to love uh, bug types and poison types. Those were my main types. 
and they sucked until Generation 3. Generation 3 is like the first time they really got to be usable. Because in Generation 2 and Generation, especially in Generation 1, they didn't even have, like, decent bug attacks. Like, the best bug attack was 20 on Ugh. So, that does make me wish that Beedrill was more viable. He's still just... Poor Beedrill. Beedrill. He needs a... That's... You know what? He needs a Mega Evolution. That's who needs a Mega Evolution. Beedrill. I don't know if he has one. I haven't checked. So, if I'm speaking out of turn here, my apologies. I would love him to have one, because, my God, he needs one. Um, but watch him not get one because they don't like Beedrill. I don't know what Beedrill did. I don't know whose mother he, he murdered, but Beedrill is on, like, Game Freak shit list. I don't know what he did. Poor fella. Anyway, I need you to get poisoned so hard, like, right now, because I really don't want to run. Oh, poison thing, you're fantastic. I need you to be poisoned. Nope. Yep, I'm gonna have to run, alright. Because you're gonna crit me. That's five poison things, no poison. I'm really pushing it. We're gone, he's gonna crit. Well, he only have to crit right now. Great. Oh, boy. I wanna get to 7 before I fight a trainer because. I just want to. <laughs> I just really want to. I want to evolve this and see what it's gonna be. Two Wurmples. I mean, <laughs> I would have never thought I would be raising two Wurmples. And that would be my team. But you know what? This is what Pokemon's about, man. I'm gonna take what I have. I'm gonna make it work. Alright, guys. We're a team now. Team Wurmple. This is the lamest team ever created in life. Okay, I need you to knock something out this time. Please let it be a low tax. I just need to kill one thing. It's a Ross. I'm so mad because Ross is normally one of the ones that I immediately capture and use in my team. I'm going to catch it, like I said, I'm going to catch a lot of Pokemon, um, just because. But of course, because of the rules... Oh, do you teleport? No. What do you use? Do you growl? You just growl. Because of the rules, I can't, um, I can't use it. it makes me kind of sad. I love Ross. I love Gardevoir. I don't really care for Gallade that much. Gallade. I don't, I don't care for Glaze very much, but, um, Gardevoir is one of my favorites. Like, probably one of my favorite sidekicks. I actually like Gardevoir more than Alakazam, and it's gonna get a new type in the new game, oh my god! Anyway, you wanna poison something someday. I don't know what day, but you're gonna poison something. Now, I'm very optimistic that it will be this next attack that I use. This is gonna be one. It's gonna be poison right here. There it is. Of course not. Why would you poison it? That would mean that you wanted to live. And you obviously don't want that. Please poison it. Just don't crit it now. Okay. Now that this got a status of... Oh! It's got synchronized! I feel intelligent. I forgot about that. No, not synchronized trait. Or, uh... But... No, right, Synchronize. Synchronize does that, because the other one is, uh, it copies your Pokemon. Trace, that's what I'm thinking of. No, it's got Synchronize. Damn it. Please catch this, because next turn is going to die. It has no reason not to be caught, though. It's got, like, 2 HP, and it's poison. It's a pre-evo, it's not that rare, and any number of reasons why it got caught. Hey, it's the Feeling Pokemon. A Ross has the power to sense the emotions of people in Pokemon with the horns on its head. It takes cover if it senses any hostility. Fantastic. Give a name to the capture Ross. I uh, know. I need to name. Oh, I didn't name the Wurmples. Oh, damn. I forgot about that. Ross fainted. Well, sounds bad for Ross. Ooh. Actually, Wurmple's about to faint in a second. There we go. <laughs> Jesus, I keep thinking like I got a full team somewhere, and I don't. Alright. Maybe if I keep it in my team and I don't say anything, no one will know. I did to say it out loud. Damn. Alright, you gotta go back in the box. That sucks.